Hello guys, today I want to talk about the Epson R2000 printer and how to print with it, in fact. Yeah, what I want to do is I have had some frustrations that it, um, especially with more contrasty images, it just prints too dark in the dark areas and um, this is very frustrating as if you use the software or what comes with the printer this Epson um, easy print software if you just print some some neat shots okay there's not that problem but if you want to have this more professional prints and you really want to have what you have on the screen on your uh, expensive photo paper and I'm not talking about the uh, 20 cent uh, sheets that you can get at Walmart or somewhere. No, I really mean the uh, original Epson high gloss uh, photo paper where you pay a, a couple of bucks per uh, sheet and uh, you guess it already, you will have to make some test prints and it will cost you a couple of bucks. So. Um, get ready for spending 10 to 20 bucks for just for test prints here because um, we can manage the color but uh, we will have some issues when it comes to the brightness and the brightness you can't really uh, regulate with the software what comes with the printer so this is why I don't recommend the Epson easy print software um, what I like to do is I am going to print today from out the uh, Photoshop CS6. What we are going to do here is in the printer driver, we're going to the uh, standard tab here and make sure that it says uh, of no color adjustment so that the printer will not make color adjustments because you want to do that from out Photoshop. So please keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is, first off, I know now from experience that I have to pump up the, um, just for the purpose of printing, I really have to pump up the brightness of this image. So I really need to go and, and put it all the way to the right just for this print, I will not save this image this way, but I really have to pump it up to get it nearly um, the way you just saw it in its original state uh, on the print. It's quite, quite frustrating, by the way, that this uh, that I have to do that. But this uh, shows um, how many degradations too dark this printer is actually printing. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to print. Then we go, I, re, I, uh, I chose here to, to take a small print of it because I made uh, several test prints on a small, um, on a quarter of uh, A4 so that I could make four test prints on one sheet of paper. But, um, however, you see here that you can uh, choose for Photoshop uh, managed color so that you let Photoshop manage the color. And here it already warns you that you have to remember to disable the printer's color management and this is what we just did. And of course you can then, this is also important, um, choose the right here. I have this Epson Premium Glossy and you really need to uh, use the right uh, profile here. Of course we, we do this, it appears in the This is just a medium where we print on. Document profile is this. And in the print 
can also choose this as your profile. So the printer profile we choose here is for the glossy paper. Then we go to check normal printing and we choose a relative color colorimetric. This is what yeah is matching your colors the best and make sure to uh, check mark this black point compensation and for the rest if you want to ju just like me say uh, you want just 25% uh, here for the paper just to make the small uh, test prints then you can uh, set the scale to 25% and then move it around on the paper I also recommend doing some large prints because only the large ones give you uh, the full assurance that you really have uh, the right results afterwards. So, and then you can make your test prints. And I hope this helps a little bit. Um, if you have some frustrations with this printer, please um, let me know in the comments below. And probably we can help each other with this. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead. Goodbye.